going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. Yeah, so today I'm taking a close look at the Digitech Whammy pedal by um, Digitech. It's been around for a lot of years. I've never tried one out myself until today, but recently I was inspired by the group While She Sleeps. I've been listening to them for quite a while now. And uh, specifically, the lead guitar player, Sean Long, utilizes this pedal and other whammy pedals in most of his rhythm and leads. So it's just so inspiring and so melodic. It just adds new sonic character to your writing. And uh, I wanted to see if I could write some new stuff with it. And that demo track you just heard there was uh, Utilize the Pedal. A quick shout out to the fine folks over at Zounds.com. They were so nice as to loan me the pedal so I can check it out and demo it for you guys here today. Zounds.com has got everything you need. They have this pedal in stock. The website's easy to navigate. They've got whatever you need. Customer service is top rate and shipping is super fast. I get everything to my door in like a day, day and a half, which is insane. Love it. Full disclosure, in all honesty, I actually meant to order the Whammy DT pedal, which is similar to this one. It's kind of an upgraded version. It's got a few extra features and more capabilities. Uh, also costs a little bit more. So, you know, keep that in mind. But it's got some drop tuning features that this one doesn't have. But you know what? I didn't really miss them. Uh, this was a lot of fun. And so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna give you a few sound samples and uh, kind of walk through the different capabilities of this pedal so you kind of know what it does. Uh, get all the functions under your belt and see if it's something that you might want to purchase yourself. All right, so first off, you've got this detune function, which has either shallow or deep. That's the only settings you can do. And uh, so let's hear what that sounds like here. So first off, uh, without it. And then with the shallow. Now let's switch it over to the uh, deep which is gonna be, again, off, and then on. So it adds a nice little uh, chorus effect, basically. It sounds like it's micro pitch shifting, whatever. Uh, I like the shallow version just to add a little fullness to it, so it almost sounds like two guitars. Let's, so let's go back to that. And then you can obviously um, actuate how much of that effect you want mixed in. So again, here's none. And then all the way. I think it works good if you want to do like a little dream theater thing, like kind of like a... So that's pretty awesome. Uh, something that I have not found to be using very much was the harmonizing side. So uh, it just mixes together different octaves, which is, you know, has practical applications. It's just not something I really want to listen to. So, <laughs> you know, it's cool. It's got its place if you need it in a song. And you can go different, uh, different steps, basically. Let's go thirds, let's see how that sounds. I don't know. It might have a use, it's just not something I would tend to gravitate towards. I'm here for the whammy stuff and I'm sure you guys probably are too. So let's get over to that side of the pedal. Check it out. Let's start out with, um, so this is up a second. Rather down a second. <laughs> really cool what's really fun about this is the dive bomb feature the Tom Morello thing right so you can just freaking so if you don't have a whammy bar just drop that in place and you can do up a fourth Cool. You can drop it down one or two octaves, which is cool too, so. Yeah. 
that was two octaves. Here's one octave. Um, tracks pretty well. I mean, I don't think you would actually record with that necessarily, but maybe live you might want to throw it in for a little added spice to you or to a solo or something. Um, but I really like, I really prefer the effects where you kind of whammy up. So, right. It's pretty cool. Let's go up an octave. So that's a lot easier to deal with because you're just going to get the same note out of it, right? So you might want to do something like a call and response technique where you're like, you play it in the standard tuning and then you hit the octave or two octaves up to kind of respond to it. So something like this. Um. <laughs> So that's a lot of fun. I like that. That's kind of where I'm coming from with the whammy pedal. You know, I'm going to do stuff like that. And melodic stuff like I did in the demo track. Um, where you're just playing melodic, you know, lead lines, um, solos, whatever. And you just, every once in a while, hit that uh, two octaves up for a whole lot of fun. Let's see what we can get here. Just uh, off the cuff. I don't know. <laughs> And then that last note I hit in the solo, uh, basically dive bombing down at the same time that I'm using the whammy bar to dive down. So it just gives an added effect to it, which is really cool, you know? A lot of fun. Yeah, this pedal is pretty cool. Um, you know, and then of course you can use the on off function if you just want to set it to some something, let's say, so your two octaves up, you can just go on and off without hearing the whammy in between. Just it's on or it's off, right? <laughs> That's the whammy pedal, guys, by Digitech. This thing's been super fun to play with. Like I said, I'm probably going to go back and get the whammy DT. It's got a, some added features, and we can go over that, too, next time. Um, but, you know, you know what it is. You know what it does. It's got a lot of capabilities. I didn't even mention it's got the chord. It's got this modern chord feature now here. The classic mode is going to give you what the classic pedal was, I guess. But the chordal mode allows you to play, you know, full notes and uh, pitch bend them all at the same time and it's supposed to track really well. So let's just check that out real fast. As far as I can tell, that tracks really, really well, and uh, it's clean, man. It's got some great programming to it. I, I like the way this thing plays out. It's a lot of fun. So there you go, guys. That's the Whammy pedal by Digitech. This thing's been a lot of fun to check out. I think I'm going to go with the Whammy DT, though. I want to see what added features it's got as far as the detune stuff. I feel like I might get a little more use out of that one, you know, but it costs more money. It's uh, how much more? I don't know exactly. Somewhere in the range of uh, 150 bucks or so might be worth it. So we're going to check that one out soon. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Really appreciate you watching the video till the end. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's going to help me out immensely. Can't thank you guys enough if you've done that already. Until next time, guys. Next video, I'll see you soon. I'm out of here. See ya!